So, you're one of the new boys. The official shall rule a touchdown when any part of the ball breaks the plane of the goal line. Why doesn't this make any sense to me? Because it doesn't make any sense. Why are you reading about baseball? Football. Like there's a difference. Kyle quit the Oracle, so now I have to cover the homecoming game. Help me out here, Jess. You're the cheerleader. You must know something about football. All I know is when the players jump up and down, we jump up and down. Just give me the basics. What's the point of the game? Wait. I know this one. Football's like when you're at the mall and you find this killer dress, but there's only one in your size. Yeah? Then you see this girl scoping at your dress. But you think, I mean, there's no way she could possibly look as good as you do in it. So you find someone else to run the interference. If you get the dress and make it back to the cashier, it's like a touchdown. What's all this got to do with football? Nothing. Since I spent all my clothing allowance, I can't think about anything but shopping. Lila, I thought you weren't coming over until tonight. The fumigation doesn't start until tomorrow, but I'm just sick at the thought of those repulsive little creatures crawling around Fowler Manor. Ugh, I know, I hate bugs. I was talking about the exterminators. Where's your dad staying while they fumigate? He's in Hawaii on business, as usual. Well, come on in. <laughs> Where should I put my stuff? Oh, anywhere. It doesn't matter. Great. He made me feel tingly all over. I thought we really had something. Then I didn't hear from him for another six months. He is, he's your dentist. But we really connected. Believe me, sometimes it's better not to have a boyfriend. It's nice to be independent. I've had enough independence. I'm going for a more clingy, codependent, obsession kind of thing. <laughs> Who knows? The guy your dreams could be in this room. I gotta go. Team, huh? Yeah, I go to another school for six months, and those guys forgot all about me. Hey, you had to give Vermont a chance. Yeah, but I didn't plan on being cut and then having to move back here like a total loser. I know what it's like. Until a couple of years ago, all I cared about was ballet. It was my whole life, like basketball was for you. What happened? One day, my teacher took me aside and told me I wasn't good enough to be in the class anymore. She suggested I take up origami. You just made that up to make me feel better. No, I didn't. It was horrible. You should see the paper cuts on my tongue. So how'd you get through it? It was hard at first, but I just had to keep on believing in myself. That makes a lot of sense. I'm glad someone understands how I feel around here. You're really cool, Linda. Thanks a lot. Clothes breathe. They don't like to be all crowded and cramped. Lila, they're your clothes, not your children. I hope this will be comfortable. That is so generous of you, Jess, to give me your bed. But you're the best friend ever. So you won't mind if I make myself at home in your wardrobe. <sighs> you have tons of clothes. Please, I left almost everything at home. You really have it made. Me? You're the one with the cozy little house. Parents who care about you. A sister right next door anytime you need to talk. I'll trade you. My sister for your trust fund any day. There are more important things than money. Yeah. All the things you can get with money. Things aren't always what they seem. No kidding. This blouse looks like it's yours. But now it's mine. Can I borrow it? Look. If you want to talk about Todd, we'll talk about Todd. I mean, that's what friends are for, right? Enid, there's nothing else to say. 
He's been a jerk. I'm over him completely. But what if he, you know, wanted to date someone else? Would that bother you? He's free to do whatever he wants. So am I. It's time we both moved on with our lives. I'm late for biology. See you at lunch. But Manny, what do you think this friend of mine should do? I mean, she really likes this guy, but they're just friends and she's not sure he feels the same way. I think your friend should tell this guy exactly how she feels. I bet anything he feels the same way. How can you be so sure? Because he's been feeling this way a long, long time. He has? For me? I mean, for my friend? Oh, yeah. He's probably just, you know, shy. Gosh, Manny. Maybe you're right. Wow! Dig in, lady. It's just my little way of saying thanks for letting me stay here. Lila, this is incredible. You're the best. I am, aren't I? Now I know how Mother Teresa feels. Lila, you don't have to buy his presents to stay here. Sure she does. I deserve whatever I get for sleeping on that moldy old cot. My neck's killing me. How's this for a neck brace? Just what the doctor ordered. Go ahead, Liz. Pick up some stuff. I didn't know what you'd like, so I just grabbed whatever caught my eye. Brilliant shopping technique. <gasps> Ravishing red. Just what you need for all your hot dates. <clears throat> or you can just wear it around the house. I'll take that. So, Jess, I was wondering, do you guys mind if I stay here for a few more days while they finish painting? Are you kidding? You can stay here as long as you want. I thought you said the house was being fumigated. Oh, it is. After they, you know, finish painting. Is that okay with you, Liz? Sure. Thanks, guys. Hi, Todd. Oh, hey, Enid. Cool shirt. Where'd you get it? Gym class. It's part of the uniform. How are you? I've been thinking about you a lot. I mean, about our conversation the other night. Me too. You really helped me out. I did? Yeah, I've been feeling so sorry for myself lately. But you know what? I'm going to try for the team again. Todd, that's great. Yeah, thanks to you. I owe you one. Let's go out and celebrate tonight. I know a really cool place down at the mall. Sure. Why not? <laughs> going on? I gotta go. But, wait! Why is it everything I like is the most expensive thing in store? It happens every time. It's the price you pay for having good taste. I don't know why I torture myself coming here. I can't buy anything. Loads of money in this store. They rip us off at these high prices anyway. But you can afford anything you want. That's what makes it so fun. It's a total rush. Well, what if you get caught? I'm not going to get caught. I'm way too good at it. Well, what if you do? What would your father say? He can just send one of his lawyers to take care of it. Admit it, Jess. You'd love to steal something. You're just too scared. This belt would look perfect on you. You're right. It looks perfect on me. I can't believe we did this. Were you scared? My heart was beating right out of my chest. Hey, guys. What's going on? Where'd you get all this stuff? Oh, we just had the most awful day at school, so we decided to take a trip to the mall to lift our spirits. Mm -hmm. Jess, you don't have any money for clothes. Who said I spent any money? Lila just opened up her purse and pulled out one of my credit cards. <laughs> Borrow anything you want, Liz. But I get to wear it first. I better go watch ESPN. 
What a buzz crusher. Really? Who cares? Just means there's more for us. Tomorrow we'll go back and really make a killing. <sighs> hey, you want to do something tonight? A movie, maybe? A movie? Yeah. I'm not really in the mood for a movie. Fine, we'll do something else. I'm not in the mood for that either. For what? Anything. I mean that. I mean anything like that. Then we'll just hang out. I can't. I don't want to. I have plans. With who? No one. I mean, I... Uh, I have a date with Todd. Todd? Todd Wilkins? You know, tall, blonde, used to be on the basketball team. My ex-boyfriend? You said you didn't care if we went out with someone else. You didn't say it was you. Liz, I'm sorry. It, it just happened. Look, if you don't want me to go, I won't. Do whatever you want. Wow, dinner was great. I knew you'd like it. I would have dressed nicer if I knew the place was going to be so... Romantic? Expensive. <laughs> how come it's so hard to tell people how you feel? Probably because you're afraid the person won't understand. But they probably will. I don't know. It's been so long. I wouldn't know what to say. Just say how you feel. Yeah, but when you've been with a person for so long, shouldn't they know how you feel? Well, maybe they do know. But it's still important to say it. Maybe you're right. What are you doing? I thought we... Who did you think I was? Oh, Enid. No. I was talking about Liz. I'm really sorry. like you who make prices higher for everybody. I'm calling both of your parents. No, please. Don't worry, I'll handle this. We just have to keep our story straight. You're right. She made me do it. I've never done it before, ever. Jess, how can you betray me like that? You're the one who talked me into this. You two be quiet. Now, give me your parents' number. Fine. Go ahead, call my father. I'm sure he's too busy with his new girlfriend to care about anything I do. New girlfriend? I thought your father was in Hawaii on business. No. He's at home with Monique. He lets her prance around the place like she owns the house. She's barely older than me. If he thinks for one second, I'm going to let her be my new mom. I hate her. I hate her so much. Lila, you should have told me. I tried. But all you cared about was which outfit of mine you were going to borrow. Nobody cares what happens to me. Lila, I am sorry. I should have listened to you. I will from now on. I promise. But just because your father has a new girlfriend, doesn't mean he doesn't love you anymore. You can't stay away forever. Talk to your dad. Tell him how you feel. He probably has no idea. 
You have to go home sometime. Well, I'm glad to see you two work that out. Because you're going to be spending a lot of your spare time together. This isn't easy for me. I have something to tell you. What is it? I have to postpone the wedding. Oh. Mother needs you. But I need you too. Liz, we need to talk. I'm not in the mood. Please, hear me out. My date with Todd didn't end up being a date at all. He's not over you yet. He said that? You're all he talked about. I made such a fool out of myself. I guess I was just flattered someone like Todd would be interested in me. Even though he wasn't. Did you forget I used to go out with Todd? I know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it. How could I get so caught up in my own stupid fantasy? If I lose you as a best friend, I don't know what I'll do. You're not going to lose me as your best friend. You were honest. Well, at least as honest you could be. Well, you're being honest now, right? Right. That's what counts with friends. <laughs> so, you don't think I'm terminally single? Not a chance. Believe me, you'll find someone when you least expect it. be my new little helperina. Welcome to Miss Kitty's Corner. That corner spelled with a K. Get it? I'm Miss Kitty. I'm Lila Fowler. And I'm out of here. Would you two young ladies care for a snack? I've got raisins. Fun size. Ew. Now I made up a list of activities for all the children. There's snacky time and there's story time, and there's puppety time, and there's sleepy time. Sleepy time! I like the sound of that. Oh, the children are absolute angels. Get ready for a wonderful day. Oops, <laughs> Miss Kitty is late for her therapist. <laughs> I think Miss Kitty's been hitting the catnip. Mmm, <gasps> graham crackers. Some thrill shoplifting turned out to be. It's bad enough having to give everything back and being banned from the mall. We got off easy. We read them a story, we stick a few graham crackers in their mouth, and we put them to bed. How bad could it be? How bad could it be? How bad could it be? I'm the one that got grounded and had all my credit cards taken away. I was just on my way home from school. But you live across town. I knew this neighborhood didn't look familiar. <laughs> and school got out six hours ago. I'm a slow walker. Manny, what's up? For you. With strawberry filling? Yep. My favorite. Thanks, Manny. 